but not the farmer. All right. Yeah. So the day lot, I would say, not mm. the micro day lot. Uh, yeah, but I felt so in love with this coffee. I, I could not change for anything in the world. Yeah. So and who roasted, Rubens? Who roasted your coffee? Yourself? Yeah. Yeah? How many times <laughs> did you passion. roast the, the, the coffee before um, saying, oh, okay, it's now ready for the, for the I would competition? Say I have to be trust, uh, tr uh, tr truthful. Trustful. Uh, this is a uh, six kilo micro lot. Six kilo of micro of lot? This, the day lot. So I had like, uh, I used my ro roasting machine in 300 grams each batch. So I would say 10, 10, to, 10 to 15, I don't really remember, but 10 to 15 different roast profile. And then I decided with, my, with the help of my great team that it should be somewhere. I saw a yeah. lot of people supporting yeah, you. My team is right there and great cup taster. And if I'm here, it's because of them. Yeah, there is always a for some people that have a chance, they have a good supporting team, and then this makes the difference. By yourself, you won't, wouldn't go anywhere by yeah. yourself. Yeah, yourself. You need, you need a good team. Yeah, you need a good team, <laughs> nice people around. Yeah. The judges are here. Okay, okay. we're going to start in a while, just a couple yeah, of minutes. Sure, sure. I'd like to invite the judges, but I want you guys to come here next to me. <laughs> here. Jose, please come. I would like to say that the competition would not exist also without the help of these people. You know, these judges, I would like to ask a big round of applause for them. Thank you, guys. I would like to thank you myself because these people flying before we do, they go through calibration, they devote their time, they are not paid to be here. The tickets are not paid, hotel is not paid, wow. so they are here judging, helping us to find, you know, these brilliant champions, national champions that we have, and then the world champion of the year. So the competitions um, would not exist also without the support of these brilliant people, coffee specialists, and we cannot forget also to thank the ones behind the, the, the scene here in the backstage, WCE staff, who is wonderful, always helping us with the competition, Kyung Hee, and also everybody else. Thank you all the volunteers taking time, you know, collecting the, the coffee samples to be tested. And, um, and I cannot, and I also want to ask, that's why I stopped you here, because um, they are going to get crazy because I'm running out of time. But I want at least to, know, to tell me, Jose, where do you come from? Mexico. We have Philip Meyer. Switzerland. Switzerland. And then we have Anita. From Hungary. And we have Gloria. I come from Guatemala, but live in Switzerland. Okay, Guatemala and then living in Switzerland. See, we have people from all, all over, and the coffee community is beautiful. Thank you, judges, again. I have to bow to you for coming. I have to bow you to baristas. You too. Rubens, have fun. Yeah. Enjoy your time. Yeah. Judges, to your positions. Uh, we have our final competitor of the day representing Italy, Rubens. Have fun, Hoobings. Yeah, I should. <laughs> okay. So, time. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Rubens, and I am a barista and a roaster for my micro roastery called Gardelli Specialty Coffee, that is actually located only 30 kilometers far from here. So, in my longer researches to prepare this competition, I focused on finding something unique and something new for you. And so, uh, in order for me to better explain this fantastic cup and for you to better visually understand it, I prepared those little booklets in front of you, as well as those two charts that summarize all the main factors that are influencing the final cup. And I will give you more details as I go. So now, please open the page number one. Okay, the coffee comes from El Salvador and the farm's name is Finca San Francisco. Finca San Francisco is the highest farm around at 1,731 meters above sea level. It's in the volcano area of Santa Ana, and the micro region is called Buenos Aires. They cultivate three varieties that are Pacamara, Barbon, and the Kenyan one. So now please follow me on the next page, where I'm so excited and glad to present you this fantastic lady. She is the owner of the farm, she's Joanna, She's not just the owner, she's also the only picker of her entire little harvest. She lives here with her three children that you can see in the picture right there. 
and she's so, so passionate and so in love with their trees and coffee that you will see a manifestation of her, her dedication into the next picture that I took it for you. So please follow me at the next page. This is how she picks the cherries. Only the perfectly ripened red purple cherries will make it to the final me that is Rio Zuarco. But today I selected the, I selected the micro lot for you that is a, a micro lot from the Kenya variety and it's a day lot harvested exactly the 3rd of February 2014. So I selected this because of its great cap profile, it's fantastic, and but it's also the complexity of its aroma. And today you are going to experience aroma, of complex aroma of white flowers like jasmine and uh, white rose as long as the berry note and the cherry liquor. Also the flavor has all the range of berries going from the raspberry to the blueberry. It's fantastic. So, but I would like to also share with you the, the, the incredible story of this variety. It came from, the, from Kenya to El Salvador by a member of the Sola family at the beginning of the 20th century. So we are talking about 10 years before Scott Lab defined the very well-known SL28. But for more than 100 years, he had time to evolve in El Salvador, creating a peculiar variety. But also, it spread very fast through the farmers because it's highly resistant to rust and highly resistant to cold. But only in the recent times, its cup profile has been revealed. So now, the process. I would like to share you how it was processed. So in the next page, you will see the picture of it. I requested to the uh, Rio Zuarco mill the natural process because I love naturals. And uh, they did really, really, really a great job. They laid the cherries over an African raised bed and uh, they slow sun drying for 10 days, the cherries and they roll it every hour to achieve a perfect even drying from bean to bean and this will lead to your cup into a very clean cup and you will find a clean sweetness of stone fruits like dried apricots dried plums and also the process influence greatly the body you will experience a thick body and the syrupy mouthfeel that leads directly into your mouth with a very long aftertaste, a sweet aftertaste of toffee yeah. and the sugar cane, more like Moscovado sugar cane. Great. And the next picture, the other protagonist of today he is Rodolfo Rufati Battle. He is uh, the coffee hunter. He selects from more than 2,000 small farmers the best micro lot. So without him, I wouldn't be here today, and I want to thank him so much. He's right here in the audience somewhere. Okay, <laughs> Rodolfo, thank you very much. I love you. Okay. So next, I would like to share with you my techniques, and a few more chapters, I will explain it to you. So please follow me on the next chapter, where I explain you the, how I ground the coffee. I used a hand grinder, conical burr grinder, because I found it to be the best to transfer the least heat from the burrs to the final ground. And I also, I sieved out the fines. And I choose the fines between 500 and 900 degrees, uh, microns, sorry. Because I found this to be uh, the best to give me the complexity that I really love in this coffee, but also I achieved a perfect uh, a perfect extraction that I like. Great. <laughs> the next is the crucial factor, is the water. I'd like you to open the yeah, next page. The water is so important that I was helped by a water lab and I made them crazy, literally. I requested them more than 30, 30 different waters and the water that I I, fa I fell in love, it's a, a reverse osmosis water. And it was headed back with uh, 40 milligrams per liter of magnesium, 0 0.10 milligrams per liter of potassium. The pH is really neutral, it's seven. And the TDS is 90 ppm. Great. I really fell in love with this water because empower the wonderful sweetness of this coffee 
and also keep the delicate aromas into the cup. Great. The next chapter I would like to share with you how I roasted the, co the coffee and the roast profile I did. So I'm glad to present you my little creation. It's a, a copper roasting machine that I built in my, by myself and I use it only for small batches as this lot. It's only six, kilo, six, six kilogram lot, so I, I needed to go very, very gentle. And I use copper because it's the best metal to transfer the heat in the most rapid way. So I gain full control over the roast profile that I wanted. I don't want to get too much technical in here, but uh, as for your reference, I written down all the details of the roast profile. Great. And lastly, the brewers. In the next page, there is a picture, but you have also in front of me, in front of you. <laughs> And it's the Gino Dripper. I love this brewer because it keeps the coffee cake on horizontal shape. So the column of water on the top exercises a uniform pressure throughout the fines. And also because it has a double wall that maintains the water temperature constant throughout the infusion process. And also to achieve that constant const consistency, I attach the base of the Bonavita kettle, and I set it at uh, 94 degrees. Great. From yesterday, I didn't mention that I used a pre-infusion technique with the water at uh, 62 degrees Celsius, because I found it to keep the really delicate aromas and flavors into the cup. So I wanted to share with you also that. Great. You may see also that I'm brewing the coffee directly into a glass. This is a Barolo wine glass, and I'm using it because I found it to empower, emphasize uh, all the wonderful complex aromas that you find in the cup. But not only for that, but because I really think that this coffee is so rich and full of flavors and aromas that it really deserves an elegant presentation. So this, this glass is going to give me that. Thank you. All right, when you are going to perceive the aroma, I really suggest you to oxygenate well the glass so you will get all the complexity aromas directly into your nose. Remember to oxygenate. <laughs> and lastly, yes, thank you. I really enjoy the complexity that I was mentioning, and you will feel, you will get the feeling of this complexity as the cups cool down. You will get at 70 to 60 degrees the berries. Then, as you will go to the 40 degrees, you will get the stone fruits like uh, apricot and the teach pea. This is what I love. So, I really. Thank you for being here with me today and sharing this wonderful coffee. And I would like also to thank all the persons involved in this, Rodolfo, Joanna, and all my fantastic team. Without them, I wouldn't be here today. I'm just the tip of the, of the iceberg. Thank you very much. This is my time. Congratulations. Rubens, <laughs> well done. Thank you. Beautiful presentation. Thank you. Very nice. You have a very huge supporting team. <laughs> yeah. It's nice to Italy. compete home, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is nice. Congratulations, Italy. Beautiful presentation. Rubens Gardelli from Gardelli Specialty Coffees. Amazing. <laughs> See, I, the, more, the, the older I get, I was, when you got your kettle and the base came together, I had not realized you had glued the kettle to the base. And I said, <laughs> oh my God, that's going to fall. He's going to... You know, maybe break a glass. I need uh, that was to honor smart. the first, I, I, uh, who, the first uh, uh, think about that is Todd Charmichael from the La Colombe Torrefaction from uh, USA. Great. That I saw a, a video of him doing that and then say, that's a good idea. I yeah, because like you maintain the water temperature. Yeah. 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 It's, it's nice. But then I said, oh my God. But then on the second, nothing happened. And I started to pay, <laughs> to, to pay close attention and I saw that you had the, the glue. Well done. And also, 
I love to drink coffee from the wine glasses. I think it deserves uh, a nice glass. This is and what I exactly yeah, said. And yeah. you can explore well the aromas of that coffee. The, yeah, it's you know, elegant we, and beautiful. We are talking about it has more flavors coffee than wines. So yep. why shouldn't we use wine, uh, wine glasses for coffee? Yes, you know? you're right. Yeah, it's beautiful too. So I like it. I think the judges also like it. I'm you know, hoping they get out of their places fast so that I can <laughs> grab a cup for me and drink. Okay, okay. So how was the, were you nervous or having uh, fun and? No, I repeated so many times, so I, I feel very well prepared. It was but, a routine uh, for you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I follow a routine because I think it's very important. But when you are sure about the coffee, when you are sure about the team that's helping me, when you are sure, you make sure that everything is fine, uh, you come here and you feel uh, self, uh, self confident. Self confident. Self -confident. Yeah. yeah. I'm not happy now. No. They what? took the glasses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I believe oh, they are gonna put that into the. I hope so. Yeah. But with this crowd, yes, there will not be a <laughs> cup for me. I hope they they save something I've for me. I left. Uh, I believe uh, 20 grams. Okay. So amazing. maybe we can make uh, another uh, right. another brew in the back. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Yeah. Do you want to thank these beautiful people that came to support you? Yeah. First, Rodolfo Rufatibato. They found this fantastic microglot. I was selecting it. They, they sent me more, m m like seven to eight microlots, day lots. And I selected the best uh, that I, I choose for this competition. Joanna, the farmer, without her, I, you know, I wouldn't have this kind of coffee. But also, all the other factors were uh, influenced by my team. So, Davide Spinelli. Yuri Grandini and Giuseppe Musio and uh, Marco Cremonese. I'm sure that I'm gonna miss someone. Um, uh, my mom, of course, because she uh, is the she, reason of. She was working with uh, the coffee shop, and I wasn't there, so she helped me uh, yeah. through um, the preparation. Thank you, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's the support we need in life. Yeah. Mothers are a wonderful part of our lives. And then, congratulations, Italy. Italy do you want to say anything else? Oh, Filippo Gadani, I want to thank him. He's a great uh, okay. brewer, and he helped me with some ideas. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. many nice people involved uh, behind a good presentation. Fantastic. I liked the, the booklet and um, good ideas, beautiful presentation. Well done. Thank congratulations. You. Let's see. We have a short movie, short video coming, and then um, in a couple of minutes, maybe 40, we will have uh, the announcements. I have to see with Kyung Hee how much time they need for the announcements. But congratulations, Thank best you. of luck to you all. Thank you very Thank much, you very Thank much you for much. participating. It was a Thank it you was very a much. Thank you. And this is the competitor from Italy, Rubens Gardelli from Gardelli Specialty Coffees. Congratulations again. <laughs>